So, you're probably thinking that we're going to talk about the Nightwolf trailer uh, that just got released today. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but I figured since everyone and their mother's either reacting to it or talking about the trailer, I decided to fall put my attention on a future character. And this is a character I think a lot of us have been uh, thinking about. Like, this is the one we've been really anticipating um, for the longest time. We're getting closer and closer to his character reveal at some point. So that's the big thing, is that uh, we're getting closer to, of course, Al Simmons, aka Spawn, and his uh, character reveal. So this video is pretty much more or less speculation on how they're going to do Spawn in Mortal Kombat. Now I know what you're thinking, but DPZ, that'd be really easy to put Spawn in Mortal Kombat. That's just, that, that just, you know, it'd be easy. Not necessarily. The problem is, is that Spawn is a char you know, Spawn's powers vary. They vary between writers and however Todd McFarlane wants to make his, his, uh, OP, his, uh, OC character OP. So, that's the big thing you have to look at here, is that, um, Spawn is a totally different, you know, Spawn doesn't really have a set power level. He's always, his power level is always kind of varying in between writers and how bad um, McFarlane wants to ex machina his way out of a situation. So that's the big takeaway here that we're going to be discussing. So my thing with, um, my thing with Spawn is that, eh, I mean, it's cool that he's here, don't get me wrong, but I'm not excited for Spawn. In any, I've never really been excited for Spawn to be in any of the Mortal Kombat games or Injustice games. I've just been like, eh, it'd be, it, I'm ambivalent to Spawn, really. Um, which is weird because when you think about it, like, I was born in that era of when Spawn's um, level of uh, hype was at its zenith, you know? Um... So I find that funny, you know, that I, you know, spawn, you know, spawn, whatever, you know, spawn, cool, whatever. I, uh. But that's the thing, people, is that spawn, I was always been like, take it or leave it for me. Uh, honestly, he's been a very take it or leave it character for me. And I got to be real with you. I'm just kind of half and half, but I do find it funny that, you know, Aside from Spawn, the other thing that was the king of the 90s was Mortal Kombat, so it's kind of in a funny way, like a 90, cool 90s throwback. And would I like to play as Spawn in Mortal Kombat? Sure, you know, maybe it'll be fun. But I've never, But if you ask me of what characters I'm more excited for in terms of guest characters, um, Ash, duh. I'm, I'm excited for Ash. And Terminator. Um, Joker, I'm still like half and half on. I'm very... Um, I'm very like, eh, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, that's my thing is like, Joker, I'm still like half and half on, but really Terminator and Ash, I'm really excited for. Anywho, getting back to the, uh, getting back to my point, here's the big thing is that what this whole discussion is, is, a, is going to be about is that, um, how do we, you know, how do you deal with Spawn as a character? Do you, uh, and here's the thing, like, Mortal Kombat is no stranger to gods, so in a weird way, you could have a fully powered spawn and still make it work. I mean, you've had Raiden, Fujin, Shinnok, uh, Cetrion. You've had so many characters that are god level in, you know, in one capacity or another. And spawn has been known to fight god and Satan and M Malbolgia and, you know, Mother Nature and whatever the fuck they throw at him next. But the big thing is that, um... His move set is going to be interesting. That's the thing I'm looking. For. I'm looking. I'm really curious to see how they're going to do. Are they going to have him let him have his cape, which can actually, which is a weapon of its own? Is he going to be shooting a necroplasm? Is he going to um, create weapons? Is he going to have like the spawn axe? That'd actually be like a cool. Now that I think about it, it'd be actually kind of interesting if um, if they gave Al the an axe as a weapon in this in like a like a move. That would be a nice little nod to Soul Calibur 2, because if you guys remember, Spawn was a guest character in Soul Calibur 2, and um, he because Todd McFarlane created a character for Soul Calibur 2 called Necrid, and um, Spawn was also in a, as a guest character in the Xbox uh, version of Soul Calibur 2. 
So, and he had an axe as his weapon. So I think that'd be really cool if they gave him the axe from Soul Calibur 2 to use as a weapon in here. Um, obviously, I think he's going to have the chains, but is he going to have, like, uh, how much of his necroplasm is he going to use? Also, what's his story of getting here? Did Malbolgia bring him? Did the other, did the Elder Gods bring him? It's going to be a very curious time to see how they, um, see how they do all of this. I'm very, um, curious to see how they're going to handle, um, uh, handle this character, because he's so, oh, the problem is, like I said, he's so powerful. That's, the, you know, you may, but then again, you know, you can make the argument for Cetrion, Raiden, and Shinnok, and, and Kronika, um, that they're pretty powerful in their own right, and you kind of need to tone them down, you know, when fighting. So, hmm. Uh, also, another thing I want to bring up is that it's really cool to have Keith David voicing Spawn again. Yes, for those who are unaware, it was announced a few months ago that Keith David will be voicing Spawn um, again. Of course, as we all know, he voiced Spawn in the HBO 90s animated cartoon that, um, that was the adult cartoon. Anyway, so... Eh, I'm still ambivalent towards Spawn. I mean, it's cool that we're finally... And I'm glad for all the major Spawn fans out there that you guys are finally getting this character after how long he's been teased? Like, since Mortal Kombat X. Like, he's been te teased since MKX. Maybe he could have been in... Uh, and people thought, oh, is he going to be in Injustice 2? Then finally, MK11 shows up, and boom, now you got your wish. So... Anyway... Uh, you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, uh, what do you guys think of Spawn, and how do you think he'll play in MKX? Do you think he'll, uh, you know, do you think he'll work? Um, what kind of moveset do you think he'll have? Just comment below, let us know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and we'll see you right here once more in the universe.